So today I'm doing a bit of a Christmas unboxing and uh, the reason that I have to do this while we're still in front of the tree is the thing that I'm unboxing is actually the Christmas present that I gave to Esther and if she's on the ball she'll be putting in an annotation so you can check out her Facebook page. She also works at NCIX and if she could hurry up and get her butt into the frame then we'd actually be able to have a look at the Christmas present that I got for her. Thank you, Esther. So uh, let's get a quick photo of the gift giving presentation. <laughs> and our camera person jumped the gun a little bit. Go for it. There we go. Awesome. Okay. No, so but... Esther kindly is allowing me to do an unboxing. Camera person, come on in and let's have a look at the Edifier E3300 multimedia speakers. So these are a lifestyle model of speakers. So what that means is that sound is a concern, as it always is with Edifier. They are a speaker company. They are a sound company. Come in closer. And the difference is that with their lifestyle models, you will need to be able to appreciate style a little bit more than you would have to if you were just going purely for sound. So let's start with what we got here to start with. Let's start with what we have to start with. You can tell I'm tired. It's been a very long, very long Christmas. So here we go. We have the Multimedia Speaker System User's Manual. So that is going to show you what is inside the box. It's going to show you how to set it up. Not all speakers, oh, it gives you some troubleshooting tips. Awesome, thanks Edifier. Okay, the next thing we're going to find is a, oh, this is a three and a half inch to three and a half inch jack audio cable. So just your standard, or it's a 35 mil, whatever, your standard like headphone jack audio cable, computer cable. Okay, then you've got a power brick. All right, that's fairly beefy looking. So I'm guessing that's how our speakers are powered. Then next we find a control puck. And this is very stylish. I mean, that's what their Lifestyle series is all about, is maintaining that premium sound quality while having like a stylish exterior and stylish functionality. So here is your volume control knob. And you can see, actually, this is functionality that I love. I love having a headphone port right on the front because it's a quick, easy way to switch between headphones and the actual speakers. And that is a nice, solid knob. It's made out of some kind of solid material. It feels good when you turn it. Like it feels like an old receiver rather than feeling like a piece of plastic that's just kind of stuck onto something. So this plugs in by serial. It's okay. Probably to the back of the sub, but we'll find out more about that later. Okay, here we will find the speakers themselves. Okay, so these are the two speakers. Something that you'll notice about Edifier speakers is that they always feel way heavier than the competition in any given price range. So despite the fact that these are like a lifestyle speaker, and I realize I'm using that word a lot, but it should be emphasized, they are still quite solid feeling. So you can actually, I believe you can take off the front here, but I could be mistaken, so I better not try too hard. Oh yeah, you can. There we go. So you can actually take the front covers off these speakers, and yeah, are you supposed to do that? Hard to say. No, I don't think you're supposed to do that. I better put that back on. There we go. Okay, so that snaps right back into place. Esther's looking, looking on in shock and awe as I do that. Okay, so have a quick look at the speakers close up. Camera person, are you can you're close up? Really? I find that very surprising. Okay, so those plug in via a three. Ah. 35 millimeter jack, okay, so then we have our power cable that plugs into our power brick, and let's get further along into the unboxing. So all you're going to find at the bottom here is the subwoofer. Okay, the subwoofer is a very important part of any 2.1 system. It is the .1, and that is what is going to give you all of the kick that you get out of that speaker system. So let's just get this out of the little baggies, okay. Blow it off. Okay, so on the top you'll find a metal stylized power button. Okay, so that's like a brushed aluminum surrounded in a glossy black. Alright, then this is the front of the subwoofer so you can see what the whole setup is meant to look like when it's all together. So it's kind of two slim towers and then like a triangular looking subwoofer. Okay, in terms of connectivity, actually why don't we start with a close look down this kind of this gap right here. So you can see this is a down firing subwoofer. So there are technical reasons for that, although I couldn't tell you exactly what they are, but it is supposed to produce a more desirable sound as far as bass is concerned. And even some speakers, actually the Makos, which I unboxed recently, use all downward firing speakers. On the back, you have a bass control knob. You also have the port 
that gets the data from the control knob. And then we also have a line in, a speaker out, and a 1.8 volt in. So that's your power input. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Edifier Multimedia E3300 Lifestyle Speakers.